Welcome to Foundation After Midnight, the free Foundation radio show broadcasting globally, transcending site boundaries and clearance levels to bring you the latest news and happenings here within the Foundation. Not midnight where you're at? Well, it's midnight somewhere, and that's where we're broadcasting from. A quick shout out to all my researchers, security guards, D-class personnel, agents, and the rest of you working the late night to early day shifts within the only organization that keeps our humble planet spinning properly. I'm your host, DJ Skip, and you're listening to 93.3 FAM Radio. And this is the Mimetic Kill Agent to weed out those of you who don't have the proper clearance level to access this channel. Still with us? Good. In recent news, the groundbreaking ceremony for the new Temporal Anomaly Research Development and Integration Station will commence tomorrow. The center will aid in the understanding and utilizing of time and space-based anomalies and paradoxes. Construction is expected to be completed last year. The day since containment breach counter has once again been reset. Don't worry folks, we'll get to those double digits one day. Let's see. We have a big announcement here. I am excited to inform you all of the successful first launch of the Foundation Space Program. As I may remind you, this was a new direction for the Foundation which has in the past maintained that secure, contain, protect is the way to handle anomalous objects. The discussion on the topic over the years finally reached a boiling point at last year's meeting when, let's hear, when 058 declared, here it is. Buckets, go ahead, we just don't care enough anymore. Launch them all into the bleeding sun. We give up on containing this mess. The first of many skips sent out into space last week have just passed the planet Mercury, and within the next five minutes will reach their scheduled final destination of our sun. As voted upon unanimously by the administrators, the first launch was SCP-682, aka the Unkillable Lizard. Researchers believe that with the cold of space, then extreme heat, and immense gravity of our sun, we will finally finish off the foul beast. From uh, those of us down here who have lost someone we knew to the damn gecko, we just wanted to offer a special goodbye. <clears throat> Say hi to the sun. Don't forget to write. We hope it hurts ya, you scaly son of a bitch. <clears throat> Listeners can let us know which skip they'd like to have launched into the sun via the Foundation Space Program by giving us a call at 512-937-2346. A quick note to female personnel new to the site. If a dog enters the women's showers and or locker room, simply steal his glasses. He's not allowed in there, and he should know better. Researchers are reminded just because they consider their assigned subject to be, quote, cliched, boring, or overdone, they are not to leave their post for any reason. Also, venturing off facility during research hours is not permitted. Even if it's just to run to that smoothie place at the strip mall, more so if said persons do not bring back smoothies for the rest of the department staff. Once again, the overseers wish to remind all that Site 78 does not nor has it ever existed. There is no Site-78. Anyone who says otherwise is a liar and should be reported to the appropriate department head, because they are liars. A potential anomalous subject sighting has been called in. A apparently a very well-known and jolly holiday entity may or may not be flying around the Northern Hemisphere due to a young reality, <clears throat> sorry, I, uh, certain, a certain young Bixby. Researchers assigned to the individual ask that staff please reference the approved fairy tales and children's stories before conversing with Bixby's in containment. Mobile Task Force Little Helpers have been assigned to track down the big red fella. Good luck out there, boys. Stay frosty. <laughs> ah, we, uh, we are just receiving an update from the space program. All right, let me see here. Uh, we have confirmation. The first transport will be making contact with the sun's surface and T minus... Four, three, two, one, and touchdown! The first skip has made contact with the sun. Uh, the next few transports are scheduled to make contact at varying times this afternoon. The transports will be carrying a number of Euclid and Keter class artifacts and will never again be plaguing humanity. 
Uh, please note that a number of solar flares are expected for this afternoon resulting from the launches and you should not be alarmed if there's, if there's any disruptions of today's broadcast. Today is truly a great day in history, folks. A day you'll never be able to tell your kids, but, well, truly a great day indeed. And now, here is Azura on 93.3 and their track, the SCP Foundation Main Theme. for our small and infrequent but nonetheless beloved sports corner. We have an update on the intramural softball league. Site Redacted. Unkillable Lizards are facing off against the Site 19 staring statues this weekend. After their close game that wins overtime with Area 2's toasters, fans are wondering if the Unkillable Lizards will prove to be as unstoppable as their names. 
to whoever has repeatedly put up flyers about an official foundation bring your daughter to work day, we ask that you please stop. All personnel are advised that such event will never be scheduled, and anyone telling you otherwise is misinformed and is encouraging unsafe workplace activities. As such, they should be reported immediately. Shenanigans like this can only end in disaster, folks. An update on the status of SCP-682, 671, and the other anomalous objects launched into the sun. Our instruments are reading it is still alive somehow. I mean, come on, we knew that bastard wouldn't go down easy. Let's see. Uh, after contact with the sun, uh, reach temperatures of yada yada. Ah, here. It appears the subject had been adapting to the heat of the G-class star known as Sol well before reaching its surface. Uh, it broke free from its transports, and while it was unable to escape the gravitational pull, it was able to adapt to living in the vacuum of space. Uh, thankfully, it was unable to interfere with any of the other transports before they reached their projected destination. Okay, um... We are also getting reports that a ticking sound can be heard from viewers who look directly at the sun. Those exposed to the phenomenon claim that it sounds like the ticking is counting down to something and fills them with a horrible sense of dread. Uh, exposure to the sun should be avoided at all costs until this anomalous activity has been properly understood and contained. Man, from the way these are coming in, it's a good thing we didn't launch that miniature black hole like originally planned. Or the sun parasites. That could have gotten bad. This is just gonna be Thanks for listening, everybody. FAM Radio is written by Kyle Stover and Toy King 07, aka Eric Stover. Produced by Toad King Studios, the voice of DJ Skip is done by Kyle Stover. Content is of course based off the SCP Foundation and is released under the Creative Commons 3.0 license. To the best of our abilities, inspiring works and authors will be credited in the space provided. Links to articles mentioned in today's program will also be posted. This episode's featured music, the SCP Foundation main theme, was created by Jora, who can be found on YouTube and their music can be downloaded from their Bandcamp account. Links provided where possible. Foundation After Midnight Radio is a collaborative experiment pulling from all across the SCP universe. Foundation After Midnight Radio is a collaborative experiment pulling from all across the SCP universe. In the spirit of collaboration, we would love the chance to include your music or other works in future content, and we would love to see what you can do with our stuff as well. If you have questions, fan mail, or want to have your whereabouts tracked by an organization that makes the NSA look like a bunch of snot-nosed children playing in a cardboard box of tin cans, email us at scp93.famradio at gmail.com or you can call our radio hotline at 512-93-RADIO Check us out online and be sure to subscribe, follow, like, share, and check back for more broadcasts. Thanks again for listening. Stay tuned for more Foundation After Midnight Radio. <laughs>